welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I am going to do a variation of a painting that I saw a friend of mine do, Dominic Sherrill. A couple of weeks ago he did a ribbon pour onto, I think it was a canvas, and then spun it out. So as you know, I tend to do like the chaos ribbon pours where I just ribbon pour each color and then swipe and spin. So I'm going to do a take a little note from him and I'm going to fill up my cup and just layering colors, I will ribbon pour them out, then do a swipe, and then spin out the canvas and see what I get. Hoping to keep some negative space, hoping to get some cells, but not have the whole painting be taken over by the cells. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> get down on the canvas and get started. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I've got is a 14 by 14 deep edge gallery wrap canvas. Um, I'm just going to do a little layering of some leftover paints. This is what I like to do with my leftover paints. Create something on a smaller canvas and then you can get rid of your paints and you also get a nice little cute canvas out of it. All right, let's get to layering a cup. All right, so I've got some leftover crimson red. Leftover metallic cobalt blue. Some leftover metallic sapphire from Deco Art. And some primary green mixed in with a little titanium white from Amsterdam. Throw in just white. Let's do one more layer. So what I'm gonna do first, is I'm just gonna lay out a puddle of white. And I'm just gonna kinda of layer the colors out. Keep it really simple. I'm digging to all of it. And I'm gonna spin this out. Now do, I really want to add maybe some drags of cell activator through this. I think so. I'm just gonna put some cell activator on the back of this little palette knife. It's a little itty bitty teeny one. And I'm just gonna kind of drag up through there. So I put a little on the back. And now what I'm going to do is just drag it through it. I'm going to make sure all the drips come off. I don't, I'll just drag through. And I start over here on the end so that way that most of this will come off. Let's do that with this smaller one here. What I'll do is let this sell up, then I'm gonna drag a little bit on this back end just to make sure that I don't get any extra still sitting there. All right, I think this is pretty much selled up all that it's going to. All right, let's give it a go. Thank you. 
This over here is not moving. Not moving as fast as I'd like it to move. So let's make sure we've got enough paint on the canvas. Give it a spin again. There we go. That's really cool. That's what I was going for, so nice. All right, now I just need to make sure my edges and sides are covered. I like the cells just being on the corner. That's really, really cool. Torch, bring you guys down. All right, here we are with the wet result. Really cool, very minimalistic. I love the idea of ribbon pours. They're just so cool. You don't know what kind of result you're gonna get once the paint comes out of the cup. The cells are popping up, but we're just very, very minimalistic. All right, here we are with the dried result. Love it, so what I'm gonna do is do the same technique on a larger canvas. All right, everyone, so that is it for this piece. I love it, it can go in any direction. That's how it was created though. But I just love the minimalistic uh, aspect to this. I'm definitely going to do this on a larger size canvas. Uh, so I want to give uh, thanks to Dominic Cheryl for the inspiration. When I saw his video, it really, really stood out to me. I like having that negative space. So thanks a lot for uh, doing a video like that and letting me uh, do a version of it for myself. All right, everyone. Everyone have a great rest of the week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.